Common Sense Saving, Episode 1. Well, of course, we know common sense isn't always that common. Let's learn together how to be frugal and save some extra sense. The blog post for today's episode can be found at commonsensesaving.com slash one. I'd like to start off by discussing the purpose of this show. I'm gathering information really for myself and anyone who'd like to listen about how to become a little bit more financially sound and create a back-to-basics financial plan, all while documenting my current journey. In essence, while I learned about a subject for myself and as I implement it into my own life, I'll record an episode on it. And if I ever happen to lose my way in the future, financially speaking, I'll have my own resources to reference as a guide. And if it happens to benefit anyone else, then great. Now let's lay down the foundation of everything I'll be going over. The assumption going forward for myself will be that this step will be completed and will be maintained monthly uh, from now on. If not for this basic step, then none of the future things I'm going to talk about and implement will work. Now, this foundation that I'm talking about is having a plan or a budget. And I like to think of a plan and a budget. You may think of it as two separate things. I think of it as two sides to the same coin. A plan shows you what you want to achieve. But a budget shows you what you are currently capable of achieving with your situation. They form a symbiotic relationship, so you really can't have one without the other. In my perspective, creating a budget can help put plans into realistic terms so that you can adjust your life accordingly. Now, I've tried to hold myself to some sort of budget for as long as I can remember, but I've only started really putting it into practice for the last three years. I didn't really think of everything when I first started to make my budget, and that's okay. You won't either. But I continue to learn over time, and I adjust my spending when I need. When building a budget, you'll need to ask yourself a few questions. Well, more than a few questions. Some like, how much money is coming in? How often and when do I get paid? How much money am I spending on things that I don't need? What are my bills? When do they post? And when are they due? These kinds of questions and more will help you understand your personal financial situation. At its simplest, you really need just to find out what's coming in and what's going out. So if you've never created a budget before, this can take some time to figure out. And if you've never stuck to a budget before, this can be a bit of an adjustment. First, find your bank statements. What about credit cards? Do you use those? Find your credit card statements too. Print or download each statement from the last year if possible. We need the information, we're going to analyze and record what's coming in and what's going out. Now the reason I'm building a budget is to find the lowest amount of money I need for expenses, to live frugally in order to then save as much as possible. Living beneath your means is incredibly important regardless of how much money you earn. Because if you spend more money than you bring in, that can be a huge problem. Now, we're not creating a budget at this point, at least not in this episode. We're analyzing our spending habits and behaviors right now. We're also going to come up with our financial plan. The idea here is to find out what your money is doing and what you're going to do with it. If you don't know what your money is doing, then you have no control over your financial situation. But this is how we take control. Now, do you have any goals that could possibly cost money in the future. Uh, Maybe you're planning a trip, maybe you're buying a car or a house, or maybe you have an expensive hobby that you need to buy things for, or maybe you just like going out to dinner every night. That's, That's a goal. You want to go out to dinner every night. So you need to know what your expenses are. Whatever your plans and goals are, though, life costs money. I'd suggest writing everything down if this is your first time. Just lay it all out. What is your monthly income? What are your monthly expenses? What are you spending on that probably you don't need to be spending on? Um, Categorize them if you need to. We'll talk about putting together a budget in a future episode, but for now, just find out how much money you have coming in compared to how much money you have going out, and hopefully you have more coming in than going out. Like I said, living within your means is important. If taking control of your spending isn't something you've thought of before, it can be a daunting and 
even sometimes a boring task. I won't say that it's easy, but it will benefit you for the rest of your life. It only takes a few minutes a day once you've set everything up, and the key here, like the key with most things, is consistency. It's not going to be fun, but you're going to have to stick to the budget you set. Now, if you don't keep this up, keep up a budget regularly, monthly, throughout the rest of your life, you probably will end up regretting it. As I said, we'll talk about different types of budgets and even make a budget with you in future episodes. The notes for today's show can be found at commonsensesaving.com. Now, if you like this sort of content, please subscribe and think about sharing this podcast with anyone you think it could help. Again, thank you for listening to Common Sense Saving, making saving as easy as having common sense.